Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. Now I didn't discover this, but there's a rumor going around that Mesoamerican civilizations have a secret cavalry unit now called, uh oh, a Shilato warrior? I'll try to remember that one for the next family Scrabble night. You can find the unit in the fifth Montezuma campaign mission if you capture horses from the Spanish and bring them to a set of flags. In previous versions of the game, they would be turned into elite Tarkins. In Definitive Edition, they now get a special unit for American civilizations with pretty beefy stats, which are quite a bit stronger than the old Elite Tarkin. What the Age of Empires community has already discovered, though, is that this unit doesn't just exist in the campaigns. You can also train them in regular games at a stable. Now, of course, you can't build stables as an American civilization. The option doesn't come up, but you can convert them. You can see here I'm playing a regular random map game as Aztecs, and I've monk rushed my opponent. After converting one of his stables, I can now produce Shilato Warriors for 60 food and 75 gold, the same cost as a knight. This moves it from being a one-off campaign unit into something you could actually encounter at some point, and might want to know a bit about. Here you can see their stats compared to a regular knight, and it's not just their cost, but all of their stats are exactly the same. If anything, it's a bit weaker than most civilizations' knights, since you won't have access to bloodlines or cavalry armor upgrades. You're also limited by how many stables you can convert, so it takes a while to build up their numbers. In terms of their upgrades, you can see that the attack upgrades apply as normal, improving its attack by up to plus 4, but none of the other upgrades do anything. Naturally, it needs cavalry upgrades, which are locked for American civilizations. Contrast that with the campaign version, which you can see is significantly stronger thanks to some triggers giving them techs they don't normally have. Like all cavalry, they take anti-cavalry bonus damage from various units, the same as a knight. And despite looking a bit like jaguar warriors, they don't give or take bonus damage from champions and other anti-infantry units. Besides just a bit of fun and surprise factor, that makes them a nice complement to eagle warriors when raiding if your opponent is going into a lot of anti-infantry units. That being said, the game doesn't always see them as knights, and a few knight-related bonuses don't apply. An example is a Persian ally doesn't give them plus 2 attack against archers, and the Franks plus 2 line of sight doesn't work either. That kind of makes sense given how specifically those bonuses are worded. Unfortunately, the converted stables also aren't affected by the Aztec's faster working military buildings bonus. Now to get these stables in the first place, you do need redemption and some monks first. So there's an upfront gold investment that'll be hard against an equally skilled opponent, as well as the fact that the unit itself is pretty gold intensive to make. Keeping them continuously training from just one stable takes five to six Castle Age gold miners. Unfortunately for Mayans, they don't have redemption, so none of this applies to them. It'll all be for nothing as well if an observant opponent deletes their buildings as they're being converted. If you want to try this in multiplayer, it would be better to do it sooner rather than later in case this gets patched out. Or maybe it'll just stay in there. It's a pretty obscure situation, and if you do get redemption and manage to convert a stable, why not at least be rewarded with the option to make some weak knights? Since they can't be upgraded later, it's a big investment that isn't guaranteed to pay off. In fact, maybe this should be embraced and expanded on. Maybe converting Mesoamerican barracks should also give you access to Eagle Scouts. This could be just the start of a great new game mechanic. Remember, devs don't make mistakes, they just have happy accidents. Thanks to all the commenters who let me know about this, as well as Trirem who pointed out that it was in the campaigns. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.